Hi, uh, second grade students and parents. I am here to hopefully give you a quick tutorial on what is to come um, starting on Wednesday, April 15th. Um, the district has launched their phase two and final phase of our at-home learning. And um, I'm gonna show you a couple things and then I'm gonna try to simplify it all down so that you know where to go. Um, so if you go to the main Rockford website, um, you'll find all of these lessons that every second grader is um, learning. We're gonna be uh, this week doing two ELA or reading language arts lessons and two math lessons. In a normal five day week, we'll do three language arts lessons and three math lessons. So all of these lessons uh, for the district are housed at the district website, um, but you will have the chance to just get it straight off of Schoology, which I think is gonna be the easiest thing. So if for some reason Schoology's down, you still wanna find this stuff, um, you can come over to Rockford's website and find it there. So you're gonna go to Elementary Connect. You can go to Grade 2. And say OK. And then it will bring you to this grid. Now again, like I said, I'm going to simplify it all down for you. Um, and it's all going to be in our weekly grid. But if for some reason Schoology is down, you can come here and see these lessons right here. So you'll see for this week, um, April 15th through 17th, we have two lessons for language arts, two lessons for math, and then a lesson for each of our specials next week. We will have three of language arts, three of math, and then two for art and two for music and two for gem. And these will all be in the same place. So let me show you how um, I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier for you where you don't have to go and search for it. So on your child's Schoology page, uh, which they know how to navigate well, um, we're still going to be at that. Um, let me go to the main page. I'm sorry. So when your child pulls up Schoology, it should look like this. It looks a little different because I'm on the teacher view, but everything you need is going to be at that at home learning. It might, they might need something out of this technology folder, but again, they know how to get there. So at home learning. And then um, here's that, that link to that Rams Connect I just showed you. Again, I don't think you're really going to need it. I just had it there for you in case, just in case. So the main folder that they're going to come to is the at-home learning agendas. Um, there are some other folders under here you'll see. I don't think they're gonna really need to click in them. It's just a place for me to house those assignments, but all of them are going to be on this grid that I'm going to show you. So um, if you click on the at-home learning agenda, it's gonna bring up all of the weeks that we've already done. Um, you can go back. I would say at this point that might be a tad overwhelming. So maybe just start with where we're at um, April 15th through the 17th. And there should just be one link in this folder. Um, and this is where all of your um, assignments are going to be. Now, um, I'm sure you've seen it over and over again. The district is asking that second graders uh, work for one to two hours a day on um, schoolwork. So um that doesn't mean that you know every day you have to have one to two hours if maybe mondays uh you work all day long and there's just no way to do school work that can be pushed into another day um so they also are asking that um, some of these lessons that they've pushed take priority so you'll notice on this grid um there are some lessons and some assignments that are starred. And these are gonna be in your math area and in your reading area, okay? So you'll see the, the star next to those. So for this week, the lessons that the district's saying we really want you to do is this math lesson one and the quiz 8.1, and then this math lesson two and the quiz 8.2, and then the reading lesson one and this Schoology assignment, and then this reading lesson two and this Schoology assignment. Everything else that you see in here are things that myself and Mrs. Cranzo have created um, just to help keep your child engaged. 
So if all you can do um, it are those math lessons and those ELA lessons, that is great. If you want more, that's why we put more in here. So let me just kind of go through each of these sections um, so you understand what you're looking at. And then um, I think that this will help just house everything in one place. So our connect section is going to be um, exactly what it says, a connection time. So we'll do some flip grids in here. We'll do some conferences. And um, also this is kind of going to be our social emotional place. So uh, talking about our PBIS um, initiatives of you know, gratitude and um, all those great character traits that we talk about at school. So that's what you're going to find in the connect spot. Um, and you can see that a lot of this stuff is hyperlinked. So your, your child just needs to click on it to get to where they need to go. Um, for math, so this, I'm gonna open just one of these lessons because I think you can work through it pretty easily. Um, this is gonna bring you to a Google Doc um, that another teacher in the district created. Um, we're all kind of just sharing at this point. So um, if you go to this second page on the Google Doc, it gives us our purpose for the day. And then there is a lesson here. And then it says, take the quiz, 8.1 quiz. Well, I've already linked it um, on our grid here to our Schoology page where your student can go and take that quiz. So those are the only two required things for math that day, okay? Oh, of course, look at that. My internet's being funny. Oh, shoot. Um, Okay, I think it's all right now. I'm sorry. We, our internet is funny sometimes too. Um, so those are the only two things that you have to do for math that day. Now, you'll notice under here, we also put extra practice. So um, you have your math journal page. That's the math journal that we dropped off at your house. And then there is um, a game that you could either um, just read the directions and try to do on your own or print off if you're able to or even just make your own, okay? And then this is also another um, piece that would go with this game. Again, these are all extra. And then lastly, this is the home link. This is like the homework that we would have sent home to go with this lesson. So again, you could read it to your child and work through it, whatever works best for you. Okay, this is extra stuff. So required is the lesson and the quiz, and then this is all extra. Okay, so you're going to only have three of these math lessons a week. Um, in those other two spaces, Mrs. Cranzo and I are going to fill that in with things like fact fluency um, or scoop pad math, um, things like that. Again, extra, okay? So for readings um, for this week, you have two lessons um, that the district has put together and two assignments. These assignments, again, are linked through Schoology. Um, so they just need to go. It will pull up um, on there. Theirs might look a little bit different than mine. They'll open it up, and then when they're all done, they're gonna hit that submit a button again, which is things that we've already done. Um, I've had a couple of people that have submitted too soon and they're not finished. You can always unsubmit it and then resubmit it. I actually can see when they're in progress if they've even opened it, so that's a really nice feature. So um, again, the link to the lesson is here. The link to the assignment is here. And then again, for reading, we have extra practice. I'm reading those Just Right books. This is a fluency um, practice where they pick a poem from this book and then they can go on to Flipgrid and read their favorite poem to their classmates. And then um, Scooppad ELA, okay. Um, again, we're gonna have two extra days each week um, for reading. So Mrs. Cranzo and I have thought about doing things like um, fluency and stamina are gonna be our two big big things for those two extra days. So just keep reading basically. Okay, um, we have a writing section. Again, this is not a required section from the district. This is just extra things that we wanted to give you um, to just keep you engaged. Um, so you can click on each of these links um, and we're getting ready to do some realistic fiction. And I think you guys will really enjoy that. And then we have our normal Friday letter here, okay? Um, for social studies, we are going to start into our Rockford unit, okay? Um, this starts with some map skills, and um, then we'll learn more about the history of Rockford. Um, so that will be some days, and we might do some mystery science some days just to keep it fun. Um, read aloud, I started a new, um, according to Humphrey book, 
Um, so it's summer, according to Humphrey. I'm going to throw in some of these, some fun other read alouds. Um, for word work, uh, both of these are sites that they have already worked with before. Um, we have Pearson Realize, um, an interactive sort, Pearson Realize, a blind sort, and then Spelling, Spelling City. And they each were assigned um, the words of where they would be at at this point. Um, I did assign the interactive sort and the blind sort both for Wednesday, um, just because, again, you can, you're going to be doing this when you get a chance, okay? So, um, and they're not due until June 5th, but um, once they finish that and send it to me, it will go off their dashboard. So just trying to give you some flexibility here. Lastly, um, we have three um, specials lessons for this week. Um, you have a little welcome message from each of the teachers. That's not going to happen every week, but you are going to have um, two lessons from them for each week. So again, a lot of fun there. Um, I know that's a whole lot, and I will be doing a video um, at the beginning of each week, and it won't be nearly this long because um, I think you're going to get it real quick. Um, we tried to create this so that everything is in one spot and you're not clicking all around, okay? So I think that this will be really user-friendly. Um, you'll be able to click through and see the lesson, see the assignments, and then see that extra practice. I can't emphasize enough, um, those star things are the things that the district is sending, everything else is more. Um, I would love for you to do it, but we, we understand that this is a difficult time. Lastly, um, the district is asking us to have um, some kind of office hours throughout the week. So I have said that my office hours will be Monday through Thursday from 10 to 11. Um, they're asking us for, to do this from Monday to Thursday. Friday, we'll have staff meetings during that time. So um, what that means is that I am available from 10 to 11, um, whether it be emails or um, if you need me to conference with your child, I that my computer will be right there. By no means does this mean that I am not available at other times. Um, it's just I am purposely laying out that time um, to be able to connect with you. So. Um, Again, email me anytime if that time doesn't work and you need me to sit and talk with your with your kiddo um, that I can do that another time, too. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so I think this will um, be a good way to connect um, as much as we can. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or you have my number um, and we will do this together. Um, I miss you guys very much and I uh, sure wish we were at school together, um, but we will make the best of this. Um, I will see you very soon.